recording. Cathy, could you kindly introduce yourself and tell me how you go about the process of producing a project which is an academic written document? Okay. Um, hello, uh, my name is Cathy Greethurst. I'm staff development consultant in OCSLD at Oxford Brookes University. Um, so the process that I use for producing um, an academic document, probably the easiest thing um, to do is just to tell you about how I wrote a recent book review. Um, basically, first of all, I read the book and took notes from it, um, bearing in mind that I was going to be reviewing it. So um, I thought about, as I went through, I thought about what I liked about the book and what I thought was compelling about the book, and then also any shortcomings. Um, I also jotted down a few, few things that I actually learned from the book as well, even though I knew the subject well. Um, then once I'd pulled all of that together, I thought about my plan for how I organise it, um, which was basically to kind of do an introduction, give a hint about what I thought about the book, and then really to go into the thing, uh, the summary of, of what was in the book and then what was good about it and what I thought were the shortcomings um, and then with a short conclusion. So um, I tend to um, just try and write as much as I can um, and then edit it afterwards. Um, so the writing process is actually really important to me because I love words and that's actually what makes writing interesting for me. I like to be able to create a compelling message and to get my point of view across in as few words possible. And that's kind of always the challenge um, for me um, is getting the number of words down and being as succinct and as clear and persuasive as possible. So normally I'd probably do several drafts. Um, so in the case of this particular book review, I had four or five different versions and each with each version, it becomes better and better. And so I really kind of enjoy the process of that. Fantastic. So you've just described very beautifully uh, an interesting and kind of recursive process where you move from generating ideas into planning, maybe back to thinking again about ideas, forward to drafting, looking for revising foci, back to drafting, uh, revising, drafting, and I'm thrilled to hear that you produce a few versions so that your main argument develops and is enriched, and then you come on to editing and making small changes at the end. Thank you very much, Cathy, and I'd like to finish by asking What's the biggest challenge for you in the whole of the writing process? My biggest challenge when I'm writing is the fact that I do get stuck on particular sentences. So I spend time with a particular sentence that I'm, I'm enjoying or working with or maybe one that's particular challenge, is particularly challenging. Um, and that inhibits me from, from moving on. Um, and when I'm, for example, if I'm writing an essay, sometimes I can get very stuck on the introduction to that essay and then not move any further forward because I'm so busy enjoying perfecting mm -hmm. that first um, paragraph. Um, and so um, I did. I so initially I thought about trying to reverse it and actually just writing down all of my ideas and the references from my reading and so on but that's too far removed from my natural way of doing it. So I'm currently experimenting with a process where when I'm doing my reading and my research is to start writing paragraphs based on that reading and research that could fit into my essay once I've kind of because I've got the overall idea in my head as to the kind of argument that I'm looking for. So I'll have, have the, the book that I'm reading, I'll type up the quote, but I'll wrap it around with how this would help support or uh, counter the argument that I'm, uh, the arguments that are in my essay. And that's working really well. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing your um, experience of writing with us, Cathy. Thank you.